The World Health Organization expects that by the year 2020, depression will be the second leading cause of disability burden worldwide. Currently in Canada, we spend approximately $15 billion for depression and disability claims. In this slide, you'll see that from all the long-term disability claims in Canada, 32% are for psychological disorders, with most of these being for depression. This is more than any other disorder receiving disability claims. Currently, the most reimbursed treatment by disability insurers for depression is psychotherapy. And psychotherapy has been shown to be effective in many different studies. But insurance organizations are skeptical about the effectiveness of psychotherapy in patients receiving disability benefits. They believe that these patients have different psychological circumstances and different incentives that impede the effect of psychotherapy. This was the basis of my PhD. Is psychotherapy effective for depression in patients receiving disability benefits? I carried out two studies to answer this question. In the first study, I reviewed all the literature to see which studies actually evaluated this question. Of 92 potentially eligible trials, not even one looked at disability benefit status. So what I did was I contacted all the 92 authors to see if they actually collected information on disability benefit status and they didn't actually report it in their published report. Three of them actually did and two of them shared their data. The problem was there was only a small number of patients, 34 to be exact. So this didn't allow for a meaningful analysis. But the take home message from this study was this study question has been largely ignored by study authors. So I carried out a second study. In this study, I analyzed the administrative database of the largest insurance company in Canada. I analyzed over 10,000 patients, all receiving disability benefits for depression. Some of them received psychotherapy and some of them didn't. What I found was that those receiving psychotherapy resolved their disability claim 42% faster than those not receiving psychotherapy. Not only is this a significant effect, but this is exactly opposite of what the insurers thought. Psychotherapy is actually working in these patients. Now there's another problem. Only 15% of patients in this cohort was actually receiving psychotherapy. That means 85% was not even receiving optimal management. So our goal is not only to establish the effect of psychotherapy in future studies, but to also make sure that we increase the delivery of psychotherapy to these patients to ensure optimal management. Only then maybe we can actually address the socioeconomic burden of depression in Canada. Thank you.